And so to Sunday evening's game. And Palmer coach Alberto Malassani spent most of the week walking around in a daze after his side were blown apart by Serie A's team of the moment into last week. No European action at least meant a week on the training field with his team. Lazio in fourth were clinical in their disposal of Torino last weekend, but midweek they lapsed into the mediocre for the Champions League match against Dynamo Kiev, a match in which they had to come from behind to take victory. Three changes for Parma, out go Serena, Valoli and Divao, in come Bogossian, Benarivo and Stanic. Eriksson's squad rotation system means with Inzaghi still out, Boxic remains up front and he will be partnered by the Chilean international Marcelo Salas. There's a starting place too for Almeida in the middle of the field, who is well impressed in the middle of the week. There's a starting place too there as well tonight for uh, Diego Simeone. He didn't begin the match uh, against Dynamo Kiev, a game in which they dominated for long, long spells before going behind to a Rebrov penalty and then coming back with two goals in four minutes. A big test for Palmer this evening. How will they react? After last week's beating, there's the coach. Sven Goran Eriksson been around in Italy now for some 15 years or so. The opening chance fell to Palmer and ahead of for Hernan Crespo. Now, an early shock for Lazio fans. Nedved knew he was injured. And with blood coming from that leg wound, he was off immediately to be treated with stitches. Now, this wasn't a particularly pleasant challenge. Mihailovic's foul on Ortega bought him a yellow card. Then uh, Alan Boxic finding his way through the first of many times this evening. From the corner, Veron's volley inches wide as Lazio got a grip on the game. Crespo, the most dangerous for Palmer. Now Salas' challenge there on Ben Arriva needed looking at a good couple of times before it was realised that was perfectly fair. Ben Arriva was to go off, not to return. He suffered a slight concussion. And uh, as in all situations like this, all precautions were taken. And he was treated on the field for a good few minutes before he was able to be lifted onto the stretcher and uh, carried out of play. But again, there you can see it was a 50-50 ball. Ben Arrivo, well, had taken a good 20-yard run up to it. Salas maybe four or five yards so he was virtually ran straight into a wall as Salas's shoulder so Ben Arrivo off then still we were goalless midway through the first half plenty of chances though still being created Boxes through couldn't actually find a way to get a shot on goal the deflected shot though came from Martello Salas it was deflected by Bogosian and it was an opening goal for Lazio Their player just about deserved it. Well, their open player just about deserved it. Palmer well, perhaps not quite deserving to go behind from an own goal, but they were under the cosh for most of the opening 40 minutes of the game. Another chance, Crespo on the back post. That was quickly followed by Boxic again, weaving away through on the edge of the area. Now Almeida would find Boxic in space, but he wasn't quick enough. Marcelo Salas still under, getting a lot of criticism still about the apparent weight that he's carrying around. Half-time, very quiet in Parma. One goal to nil down. Into the second half, Diego Fuser. And Ortega with the overhead. Salas guilty of a bit of a miss there. Well controlled on the chest, but could have done better with the volley. And Stanic, well, he stuttered a little too long the equaliser did come the header from Amoruso off the bar but Bogossian was the man that got the equaliser through a crowd of players once more good work though by Amoruso on the near post it was saved off the line by Almeida who's been having uh, a good couple of weeks and Bogossian in just wide now what about this if goals have to win games everyone should be like that. what an absolutely stunning strike from Almeida they'll repeat that possibly not quite as often 
as the uh, Roberto Carlos goal for Brazil a couple of years ago but uh, you'll see it on and off for most of this season final few anxious seconds but Palmer couldn't find an equalizing goal it was to be a frustrating day again once more for Malasani and his team good victory though for Lazio and it's an end to a bad week for Palmer thrashed last week against Inter home defeat again today